I'm Brian Custer, and joining us today is a young man who was the 2020 silver medalist at the Olympics. He's the 2022 Boxing Prospect of the Year. He's now unbeaten in that lightweight division. He's known as the businessman, Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn, welcome to The Last Stand. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's good to have you, my friend. Listen, we saw you uh, in early April. Another stoppage victory. Impressive. Uh, taking out Anthony Yigit. Uh, after that fight, man, I thought it was uh, uh, interesting that you called out the ghost, Frank Martin, and said, look, it's time to get this fight on. I know you guys have had some back and forth on social media. Uh, do you believe you two will fight this year? I believe it can happen if both fighters will. If both fighters willing to make it happen, me of course, um, I'm willing to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely willing to make it happen. So um, I feel like on his end, him and Earl or whoever else he worked with, if they really want to fight, then we can fight this year. What did you think when uh, you know your trainer, kind of like one of your advisors, Bomac, came out and told the boxing scene this quote? I think it'll take a little longer than a year or two. Both of these guys are young. They're trying to establish themselves in the division, trying to establish themselves in the into the sport itself. If they continue to work and continue to do what they're doing, there should be no problem making the fight, end quote. Right. Um, Bomack is just being realistic, honestly. He's being realistic, saying, uh, these guys are still developing, really. They're great fighters now, but they're still developing in and out the ring. The fight probably will happen in a year when we both probably at our prime stages. But for me right now, we're both young. We're both going 100 miles per hour in that ring. The fans want it. Why can't we fight now and rematch it later? I like that's like I just want to fight, put on great fights. Every time I fight, I just want it to be like an interesting, intriguing something. I, I I go to sleep thinking about like so I can wake up and train hard for. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to just keep. I don't want no more development fights. Every single fight now, I want something that's going to keep me interested, you know? I, I think that's great because one of the things I think when you see Tank and Ryan get it on, it's like that's what boxing fans want. Guys in their prime, young, and and look, it was a great fight, great atmosphere, and I think that's what boxing fans uh, are looking for. Listen, you are rated already right now in the top 15 in one of the sanctioning bodies. You talked about development. Where do you believe Keyshawn Davis is right now in his development? Mm, um, I'm right now, I just stepped in the contender status. Like, Burgos was like, I would say, my first real contender. And people was like, okay, he only fought one of them. So now that I beat the hell out of Anthony Yigit, it's like, oh, yeah, this guy is a real contender. He can fight. He can take on these other fighters. Put them in there with the guys we all want to see. I, I love it that you, you are so confident, so talented. But, man, you're in a great division. When you talk about uh, the lightweight division at 135, I mean, you got Shakur, you, you know, your homie. You got Gervonta. You got Isak Cruz, Devin Haney, um, Cambosis. And I, I read where you said, I'm ready for a world title shot now. Do you believe that, though, that Keyshawn Davis is ready to step into the ring with one of those guys and fight for a world title? Um, truth be told, Brian, I literally just got off the phone. I just hung up the phone with Shakur saying I got to do an interview with you. And I'm like, cool, what you think? Because like, I'm a person that really believes in myself, you know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I want to get other people's opinions, too. Like, am I tripping or... Do what I really believe is that true is other people believe that in them too and he like bro what you believe in keep believing in that because I believe in it too you I feel like you're ready for them top I said cool are you think I'm ready for them top guys like those real top guys because I feel like I am he said bro I feel like you can fight anybody you want to fight and he said anybody so I'm like damn okay so I do my, my, my belief is it is real I can't fight these guys let me ask you this then Keyshawn, and, and, and maybe it, it, it's it's more on your promoter and top. How do you balance when you have an uber talented kid like yourself who's so talented, and yet you want to bring him along patiently, have those good kind of matchups, and so he can develop, it, it, but yet give him what he wants. You know what I mean? How do you balance yeah. that? It's almost like for me, every time I fight, I. Okay, promotionally, right? Every time I fight, I get more popular. Every time I fight, I get my name get more broader. So for me right now, it's all about promotion. 
it's not about me developing in the ring. It's about me developing outside that ring. Oh, I love it. 